Hey guys, welcome back to Status Detail, and today we're gonna to talk about ceramic maintenance. Now, I love ceramic coatings. I promote them in a, in a huge way because I believe in them and I believe in the product, um, but not enough people, including myself, talk about what ceramic maintenance is and what that looks like. So when you get a car ceramic coated, what do you have to do to maintain it? You know, does, does a ceramic coating last five years or seven years or 10 years? Well, it doesn't last any years if you don't maintain it properly. So today we're gonna to talk about how you maintain a coating. Uh, this McLaren Senna just got ceramic coated with my seven year ceramic. Um, so we're gonna talk about how you maintain a car like this when it leaves the shop, what do you do to take care of it? We're also going to be talking about like say, cause this is happening a lot to me lately, say you got your car ceramic coated somewhere else but you wanna have status detail take care of your car now. So you come to me and your, your coating is two years old. We're gonna talk about what that looks like and how you take care of that. And then obviously we're gonna talk uh, products and what you can do at home um, just to take care of your own coating. Um, the other stuff is what I would do to take care of your car when you come to me for a maintenance detail. So let's jump into the video. All right, so let's say you just picked up your car from your, from your detailer, whether it was me or somebody else. In this case, we're gonna use this Senna because we literally just finished the job on this car. This car got its seven year coating on. Maybe you got a 10 year coating, maybe you got a five year coating, whatever it is. You just got your car and we need to do like this conversation, which we would have with any customer. So we're gonna have this conversation with you and you can act as if you are a status detail customer. That conversation goes something like this. Don't ever go through an automatic car wash, ever. If you have to go through an automatic car wash because a thousand birds have pooped on your car and you're a thousand miles from your house on a road trip, find a touchless car wash, which means it's going to pressure wash, it's going to blow dry, but there's no spinning brushes. There's no those huge finger long things that drag across the car. There's none of that. It's literally a frictionless wash that's going to shoot stuff at your car with water pressure and then blow it all off. That's okay. Um, outside of that, we want you to use ceramic based products to take care of your ceramic coated car, which means we don't want to use anything that's polymer based. That means no bead maker. I know people go crazy for that product. I don't like it. It's not very good and it's polymer based, but they recommend like crazy that you can put it on ceramic coated cars, including obsessed garage, which I just completely disagree with. So you need to use uh, products that are designed for a ceramic coated car. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you a bunch of products in a minute that you can use. Um, outside of that, we need to have the car washed every once in a while. So if this car, for example, won't be driven too much, I mean, they, they drive these cars a lot, but let's go jump into a category. You're, you're an M3 owner, you're an RS5 owner, you drive the car seven days a week, but you drive not very many miles. That car should be getting washed at least once per month. If you're going five months with no wash, that contamination can really stick and sit into your coating and start to cause some problems. So a once a month wash plan is kind of a, a no brainer to me. That's what you gotta be doing. Say they drive this car 50 miles to 100 miles per month. If you want, and, it, and mostly almost always in the sun, if he wants to do a wash every three months, he can because not enough dirt is count pounding into this car to really cause a problem where we have dirt sitting that's like caustic and removing or hurting coating. So every two to three months is the limit for a wash if the car's not being driven very often. I know a lot of cars in Iron Gate, which is over here by us, uh, it's huge motor condos where people store cars. A lot of those cars are sitting in there um, not being driven very often and they never have car covers on them. So you guys should consider, you know, take your car every six months and pressure wash it. Be careful of going into detailers, like quick detailers, because we're gonna have problems there where we're wiping all of that dust into the paint. I'd rather have you pressure wash it off and blow dry it, much more effective in, in, in minimizing soil marks. Um, okay, if you're going somewhere to get the car washed, like you're using a detailer or you're using, let's not say a detailer, let's say you're using a hand wash place, a place that's routinely washing cars um, you know, they're probably washing Camrys, they're washing Malibus, and then maybe you bring your, your RS5 there. When you go to a place like that, what I recommend you do to make sure your maintenance system is working for you is bring your own buckets. You can get gamma seal lids that screw on so that they'll be watertight. Bring your own soap, your own wash pad, your own drying towels, your own spray wax. Give them all of that and say, use my stuff on this car. That way you mitigate the problem of them using their wash pad, which they just used on 50 cars and didn't clean it, and their drying towel, which they just used on 20 cars before yours, and their crappy soap. Now you're controlling 
what products go on the car and the only variable is does that guy not know how to wash a car like is he dropping my wash pad on the floor and picking it up and wiping it again if you're having that kind of problem you got to find a better wash place because that's just a problem of do they care enough to take care of my car properly you're taking care of the product side of that of that problem um, now either way if you're doing that or you're washing at home we're going to set you up again with products in a second so that's process and just making sure the car is getting washed every once in a while if you do not wash a car and you let dirt build up and you come back to your detailer a year later or a year and a half later and say, my coating's not working correctly, like that's not a warranty problem. That's a you don't care for your car enough to take care of it the right way problem, um, which can be a tricky conversation. And usually based on the way the car looks, we can tell. Now, if you're going to automatic car washes routinely that have spinning brushes, when you come back to your detailer, um, and this has never happened to me because I have a pretty serious conversation with my customer when they pick up, but if your car looks like it's been, you know, rubbed with steel wool and it's only been six months, yeah, you didn't listen, guys. And that means you went to an automatic car wash, you destroyed your car, you're coming back saying, hey, my, my ceramic doesn't work anymore. Well, no kidding, it doesn't work. You went to like the worst place you could ever go. You've got your little Sonic Super Kiss sticker in the window that shows you're a member that you go three times a week for a wash. You can't do that. That's not gonna work out for the car. From a paint correction standpoint, it's a bad idea. And just from an overall, you spent money on a ceramic coating, don't get a ceramic coating if you go to car washes routinely. It's not going to work out for you. All right, so now we know we have to either wash the car ourselves at home or we need to have a hand wash place we're going to go to or a touchless place we're going to go to to keep up the routine maintenance. That's the equivalent of like we're brushing our teeth every day, right? You got to brush your teeth every day, but that still doesn't mean we don't go to the dentist. So I got to go to the dentist every once in a while and get like your deep cleaning done. Now, we are like the deep cleaning. Detailers will do like your annual maintenances. So now you can come to me for a maintenance detail as much as you want. I recommend most people come at least one time per year. For people who drive more often, it might be two times a year. For people who are really meticulous and love their cars and you know who you are, um, you might come three, four times a year. It's really up to your threshold of what you want to spend on your car in a year. You could come every month if you wanted to, but that would be expensive. So when you come to me, we're doing a more in-depth kind of decon of the paint. We're making sure that the ceramic coating is not clogged because when a ceramic coating gets clogged, it won't want to be water anymore. We're using specific products to do maintenance and we usually are using a product like uh, EXO or EXO from G-Technic, which like for this car is the second coat. It's the dual layer coating. We reapply that during maintenance details. That's not something you always have to do, but that's something that I'm going to do every time basically during a maintenance detail for a ceramic coated car. Now, these things are the missing steps where like if you have a seven year coating and you never do any maintenance where like you top it off with another ceramic coated product, like you could use Q2 wax. Um, if you're not using stuff like that, you're gonna have a hard time going seven years just washing your car at home with CarPro Reset. That's not gonna work out so good. Now, if you're in introducing stuff like wet coat or cure in between, plus you're coming to me for the maintenance where I'm putting EXO back on top, we're gonna get seven years out of that base and dual layer system together, like in our sleep. Like it's gonna be super, super easy. Doesn't matter if we're going through Chicago winters with salt, doesn't, doesn't matter. When you're doing maintenance like that, we're gonna be, we're gonna be good to go. That's why we offer our, our system as a, as a warranty system and our system for warranty on ceramic is way different than anyone else's. We do uh, warranty, for example, like if this car gets hit in an accident, I will recoat this when he gets it repainted for free for seven years. Like, we, like our coating is, is our, our, our ceramic coating warranty system is way different. I do it all in house. I don't use G-Technic. Like I don't wait for them to do anything. That's its own story. The point is you want to use a detailer, whether it's me or you're out of state, you need to find a detailer that you like, that you trust, that can do ceramic maintenance for your car at least one time a year. That is a huge deal. And the best analogy I have, like I said, is like you're going to a dentist every day, you brush your teeth. That doesn't mean you don't go to the dentist anymore. You still go to the dentist and get your cleaning and all that stuff. And if you have any problematic stuff, like a cavity, they fill it. If you come to me for your maintenance detail and I spot one or two issues on your car, like you've got a scratch and a scratch, we fix that, we ceramic coat over it. Same thing like fixing a cavity, it's just like for a car. So it's very similar in, in how that works. And like I said, that's the best analogy that I can basically come up with. Um, let's talk about products that you can use at home to do ceramic maintenance. Uh, everything I do on your car for ceramic maintenance, you can basically do at home. You don't have to use me for that stuff. Uh, if you're reapplying EXO and you're not comfortable with that, that's something you're gonna wanna come to me for. 
Um, again, people talk about, I mentioned this in the video that's actually on this car, which I'm sure you'll see at some point soon. Um, but uh, people keep saying I'm giving away my secrets. I'm not giving away my secrets on how to do maintenance details. The people like the owner of this car who come to me for maintenance details is a billionaire and he's not gonna like DIY this at home. He's gonna come here no matter what because time is valuable to him and having me do it and trading time and money makes sense for him. And that's how most of our relationships work with most of our customers. The guys who are watching these videos and doing DIY maintenance at home are the ones that are never gonna come to me anyways because they think it's either too much money or they love their car and they have the technical ability to do it at home. I'm all for you guys, I love you guys. That's why our car care store exists. That's why we made it. So you guys have access to the, the products you need to take care and love your car at home. So let's go talk about some products that you'd need. Okay, let's talk about all the products you would need to use to take care of your car, either in your garage, your driveway, whatever, just take care of your car at home. Or if you wanted to buy these products, put them in your buckets and bring them to your wash guy so your wash guy has your stuff so you have control over the wash environment like we kind of talked about. Um, keep in mind, these are all the same, this is the exact same conversation I have when a customer picks up a car from status detail after doing a ceramic coating job, we talk about this stuff. Um, and I'm probably gonna start sending this video to people after, uh, after they get their cars done. So this is probably a review of what we just talked about uh, what, when you were here. So to be clear, these three products, this is Gian Bathe, Koshemi, GSF, and um, this is CarPro Reset. All three of these products do the exact same thing. They are, they are, they are washes that are designed to clean the paint on your car with ceramic on it. So, there's no additives, means there's, these are not wash and wax products. Everyone's seen that pink stuff at, at Costco that's in a one gallon jug that does wash and wax on it. That has polymer-based wax in it, and when you put that on a car like this, it's got ceramic on it, it kind of clogs your coating up with like really crappy, inexpensive polymer wax. We don't want polymer wax, we want ceramic coated specific products to go back on our ceramic coated car. Or, we wanna use products with no additives, just really strong detergent, which will go, or surfactants, which really high surfactant levels make um, for really good soap, like really good foam. We want that foam to go onto the car, declog and decontaminate the paint and leave only really perfect, clean ceramic coating. We don't wanna add anything. That comes later. That's why we have spray waxes and stuff. We don't need that in our soap. We just want clean, good, strong soap. Both of the, all three of these will accomplish that. I originally loved Bathe, then I loved Reset, and then GSF is new. GSF has a really strong uh, cherry smell, and these are more neutral. I always have people smell these three. Uh, GSF kind of smells like cough syrup to me, like when I was a kid, or uh, people have compared it to like Luden's cough drops, like the cherry cough drops. Um, again, all three are great. The only difference between these guys are the smell, that's it. So try them. It's nice to have variety in your, in your wash lineup so you're not using the same cherry soap for five years taking care of your car. All right, so moving on to the next category of soaps, this is like the serious soap where that's like everyday soap. So these two soaps are CarPro Lift, hopefully you can see that one, CarPro Lift, and then we have Gion Q2 Foam. Now these two products are designed for like your really intense wash. Let's say you just went on a road trip, a, a cannonball run, a rally, whatever it might have been. You racked up a lot of miles, tons of bugs on it, really dirty. Or you're coming out of winter and you wanna do a really serious wash because you know it's not gonna snow and there's no more salt. You would use these products for that. These foam way more than the other, other products. Um, you wouldn't want to routinely use these, but you could throw it in like, every, uh, like for two, mo two months on with reset, then on the third month you use lift, for example. So you'd like, you'd skip a couple months to have like a really deep clean every once in a while. These are designed for that deep clean. That's the only purpose for them. Uh, this is not a replacement for bathe, reset, GSF. This is in, a, in addition to uh, when you wanna do one of those deep washes. You do not need to buy one of these. If you want to do all your maintenance at home, you would want one. Otherwise, if you're using me for your annual or biannual or three times a year maintenance details, I'll use this stuff for you. You don't need this. This is not a product you have to buy. Um, you do have to buy Gion Bathe, GSF, or Reset if you're washing your car at home. There's, there's no way around those three products. You only need one of those though. Waxes are the next category. And on the outside edges here, we have Wet Coat and Hydro Light. These two products do the exact same thing. They are spray and rinse products. So once you've washed the car and the car is still wet, but it's clean and you finish your wash, you would spray these on the car, then you would rinse them off with a hose or a pressure washer. Pressure washer is best. And basically that rebonds uh, new ceramic 
to your current car. These are not ceramic coatings. These are ceramic sealant. Uh, people love to sell these products or similar products on Facebook Marketplace and Facebook, and they like to sell Instagram ads, and they say, you know, oh, ceramic coat your car at home for $60. Uh, these don't cost $60, first of all. And more importantly, these are ceramic sealants. So real ceramics, what we did to this car, these are maintenance products for real ceramic. So you can use these, these are touchless, so you, it's, there's no way you can you know, wipe your car with a towel and cause swirl marks if you have really soft paint on a black car. Um, like a black S2000 would have really soft paint, um, or a black Porsche, for example, would have soft paint. These can be your best friend because you spray them on, you rinse them off, and you blow dry, you don't have to touch the car. Um, the ones in the middle here, Ceramic Detailer is a newer product. Uh, make sure you, you always shake these, by the way. You gotta shake them because they like to, there's real ceramic in here, like 4%. So it um, literally like will start to be weird in the bottle. You gotta shake them. So uh, Ceramic Detailer is a newer product. It is a quick detail with ceramic in it. Um, this is a great product you can use for like a drying aid. Um, you can also use it just like when the car has some dust in it, like I had the doors open earlier and some dust got on the car. I could spray this on there and wipe it off. That would be fine. Um, Gion Cure is uh, this far away from the camera. I don't think you can see this, but you can literally see how the ceramic uh, sat in here for a, a few days at a different height because I just used a bunch of this and there's a line and that just shows you you have to shake this. It's a, that's a serious thing. Um, Gian Cure is the big brother and much stronger version of Ceramic Detailer. Ceramic Detailer is more watered down. Uh, Gian Cure is more likely to streak because it's full strength, but Gian Cure will last for longer and give you better water beating. Um, now Cure and Ceramic Detailer in general are products where just like you've normally used spray wax, these are products that you would spray on, wipe off, the car would be dry so you would wash it. When you would usually use this product, you would dry it and then you'd pull the car inside and we would spray this on like a wax, wipe it on, wipe it off. Um, all, all four of these accomplish the same goal. They refresh the ceramic coated surfaces by adding new ceramic, approximately three to 4%, um, you know, based on, based on the product that you're using. So any of these will work in my perfect world and money is, is you know, no, quote unquote, no object, but these aren't by no means very expensive. But if you wanna make sure you have all the products you need, I would recommend you have wet coat and cure. So every once in a while we're using wet coat during our wash, I would use about once a month um, in that rinse phase. And then, you know, basically every time I wash my car, I would probably add this onto it. Um, and when I'm bored on a weekend and my car is relatively clean, like this one is sitting in here, uh, I would come out here and I would wax my car by shooting some cure on it and wiping it off because I like to spend time with my car. Um, all four of these do the same thing for the most part. You would not want to use these two products by spraying them on and wiping them off. Even though you can do that, I don't recommend it. I would do the spray and rinse method. If you're the kind of guy or girl who likes to spend some time with your car and actually like wax on, wax off, you probably want this product. Uh, ceramic Detailer is great. In a perfect world, you would have like these three products and or, or supplement hydro and, uh, hydro and wet coat. Um, I don't see a whole lot of use for this in terms of smaller things. If you're an efficient person, you really only probably need cure. Um, but if you know, you're know you a car guy, car girl, you like to experiment, you can always add wet coat. Uh, I'm sorry, you can always add ceramic detailer into the mix. It's, it's a good product to have in the cabinet. Let's talk about ceramic toppers. Now this is the evolution of what we were just talking about a second ago. So this is one step higher. Also, just to keep a, a quick note on the side, because we didn't mention this, um, wet coat, cure, all of that stuff, they work on wheels, glass, paint, all exterior surfaces, including uh, rubber trim. So when you're using wet coat or cure, make sure you're putting it on glass too, or, or your wheels. Um, okay, this is the part where I would recommend you probably come to me to do your annual maintenance, but if you're comfortable doing this at home, you, you, you can. This is something you can do at home. So G-Technic EXO is a ceramic coating. It's a real serious, full-blown ceramic coating. Um, this is the topper that is currently on the Senna. It's the dual layer system of our coatings. This is the topper. So when you take EXO uh, for a maintenance program, you can put a thin layer of this back over the car after your wash every year if you want to. That is a process that is very, very quick. If you did that process on a car as a standalone thing, it would probably only last for six months. Um, we're doing a really thin, fast layer, basically. You can do a thick one if you want to. Um, that's up to you. If you're doing this at home, you would buy a bottle of this and you would do that. Now, what's gonna happen is this bottle is probably gonna go bad unless you're literally doing it every like three months because these expire about three months 
after you open them. So you'd only really be able to do it two times. This is one of the reasons I recommend you come to me. I'm circulating through ceramics so often that I always have bottles open and ready to go. Whereas you're basically sacrificing a 60 or $70 bottle every time you do this. Um, but if you're, like I said, if you like doing maintenance at home, go for it. You're still saving money versus coming to me. So it's still uh, budget friendly to do it at home and throw the rest of the bottle out basically. Um, if you want a more budget friendly option, you can use Q2 wax which is a ceramic based wax. I have a hard time calling this a ceramic coating, but it's definitely not ceramic sealant. It's somewhere in the middle. It's some new category that I don't know. I don't have a name for. This has fluorine in it, which is used to be uh, Gion Booster, which was Gion Booster was the equivalent of this. That's got discontinued. This is the new version of that, but I don't quite think that this is the same version of Booster. I think Booster was stronger. Um, and this also has less fluorine in it than Booster did because they, they told us that. Um, but Q2 wax is amazing. This goes on your car like a wax. It looks like a um, it's like a de deodorant bottle. So like you turn the bottom and it like comes out like deodorant. You put that on an applicator and then you rub it in in circles. So if you like waxing your car, if you're old school and you miss your Meguiar's tin where you put your wax in it and then you waxed on, waxed off, you will love this product. It takes way more time. Um, to put on in like wet coat, for example, but this will last longer and give you better hydrophobics. Um, this is a better product. EXO is better than, 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 than Q2 wax. But if you like spending time on your car and like want to spend an afternoon waxing it, this is the absolute best option on the market for that, uh, for, to, to, to handle that. This will last uh, somewhere between six months and a year. This will last over a year if you put on a medium to heavy. If you put on about a thin layer, probably go for about six to eight months. Um, both of these are great and both are important. So ceramic maintenance or maintaining your ceramic coating, you need to add products like these back onto your coating every year to basically keep the base layer safe from like your, your, your dual coating system. Like this top coat is kind of a sacrificial layer. So you need to reapply those every once in a while and it really makes the whole system work better together. Uh, when you come to me, I do this stuff for you. If you want to do this stuff at home, you can buy this and this from statusdetailstore.com. You can do all this stuff at home. You do not need me to do your maintenance. I always say that and that's literally the reason the car care store basically exists at this point is that I fully support you guys in buying things from the store and doing maintenance at home. Uh, all these products are available from AutoGeek and other websites as well. You can always buy them from there too. Uh, I run a car care store, so that's a disclaimer that this is not a sponsored video. I am not sponsored by Gion or G-Technic or CarPro or any company. I believe in these products. We stock them in my store and I sell them uh, direct to you now. So you basically have the ability to handle some of these uh, maintenance things at home. Uh, and it's this natural progression that we created the store to kind of help you guys. I am not sponsored by any of these companies. Um, you can kind of look at it in a sense that all of my videos are sponsored by myself because I'm promoting my own company, my store, and the detailing side of the business. Um, but no money is changing hands between these companies and me. I simply like these products. These are the ones I use. I use them on $2 million McLaren Senna's, which means whatever you drive, I guarantee it's going to be good enough for your car too. Alrighty, last but not least, uh, I'm not going to show a wash pad, but jump on our website if you want to see the wash pad that I use or if you're frequenting this channel, you've seen the wash pad in all our videos, and then drying towels. So uh, this is the Platinum Pluffle. You can buy this towel, which is a wonderful towel I've been using a long time. Um, this is one of our newer towels. I'm trying to think of the name. This is the, uh, the gauntlet, I believe it's called. This is like two-sided, so we've got gray on one side and this. This is a mix of a little bit of terry and a little bit of microfiber. Uh, I've really liked using this lately. I'm using that one more and more. And then uh, this is like our really, really, really plush towel. Um, this one's almost twice the, the uh, GSM, which is like the plushness. And uh, I only have this one in this small size, but this is a wonderful towel for doing like door jams or if you want to have one or two of these for wheels um, or just kind of a miscellaneous like wax application towel. Um, that's a really, really good one too. So you need to have nice drying towels to take care of a ceramic coated car. And these are products that are replaceable. So uh, towels are going to be replaced every year or so. Um, if you're washing not very often, they'll go longer than that. But when you see your towel getting rough, when it's getting, um, 
you know, not nice to put on paint anymore, that's time to replace it or you're gonna swirl it out. All of these are machine washable. I recommend things like Tide Free and Clear. You don't wanna use fabric softener. A Tide Free and Clear is kinda of like the soaps we talked about. There's really no additives, no smells. Um, it's just detergent. It's just something to get the grime out of the towel. Um, you can wash the wash pad, but really I just recommend you pressure wash it. That's the best way to handle that. Um, definitely dry these on low heat. If you uh, dry them on high heat, it'll mess the fibers up and you'll have to buy new ones because they'll be uh, very rough then. You'll not want to do that anymore. And you can also blow dry. Uh, we will stock blow dryers soon. Uh, you can always use an electric leaf blower. That's like literally one of the best ways to do it for 50 bucks on Amazon. You can buy an electric leaf blower. Um, even if you're blow drying, I guarantee things will drip. The door jams will still need be, uh, to be done. There'll be water drops in places. That's why you want like at least one of these or like this really plush guy to get the little drops. You'll still need a drying towel. Um, and then you can throw your ceramic detail around your towel and you can wipe the whole car down after you've gotten all the water off. Some people say that's counterintuitive because now it's not touchless. Um, but if you plan to wax the car anyways, like with Cure, you might as well do it with extra lubrication on the car um, with, with the little bits of leftover water. So that's kind of how I view it. Um, so don't do it just to do it. Do it purposely when you're drying to get the water off. That way you're minimizing extra steps to, you know, you're, you want to minimize how many times you touch it, basically. Um, so long story short, you need drying towels. If you're drying specifically with drying towels, you want more towels. And if you're drying with air, you only need maybe one or two or three um, and then just take good care of them and they'll last a really, really long time. A very fast overview of interior maintenance. Um, whether you have ceramic coated leather or not, I recommend you use Gion Interior Detailer and Gion uh, Leather Cleaner Mild. You're gonna want a detail factory brush and a Gion leather brush. Um, and then again, like once a month, you just wanna once over everything, that's a quick process. And um, you know, you want to dust the inside of your car just because in my opinion, dusting and vacuuming is fast and easy. It's going to wrap up this video. If you want more content on this car, which is super awesome, I do have a full detail plus drive. That's right. We got to drive this crazy McLaren Senna. Uh, we have a detail plus drive video coming out to the channel soon. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed so you don't miss that crazy content. And uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope that helped. I hope it uh, shed some light on what ceramic maintenance looks like. And if you have any questions, if I didn't cover something, or you just in general have a question about maintaining a car from a detailing standpoint, just drop me a message below in the comments, and I will definitely see all of them and respond to them. Uh, but that's it for this video, guys. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.